Uh, no, in many ways we're not, uh, Nigel, to be perfectly honest. Uh, there was much speculation it was going to come uh, today, not least of all because we know the report itself has been concluded and we think that the hold-up and delay involves, surprise, surprise, lawyers. That lawyers are going through uh, this report, uh, not least of all because uh, the police investigation is now involved and as Downing Street put it today, they don't want uh, them to kind of rub up against each other or cut across each other. So the Met is involved at that stage. And it is likely because this report is seemingly going to name names that maybe the HR department in Downing Street or the Cabinet Office is involved as well, uh, considering there could be consequences for some of the people named in that report. Yeah. Uh, now, we know the timetable of what will happen in that this report will be published. It, it seems to be that essentially it will be published in full. Downing Street insisting that was kind of going to be the case uh, today, uh, and that the Prime Minister, having released it, will then go to the Commons to answer questions. So essentially, it's not going to be in the middle of the night or anything uh, like that. But ultimately, is it going to be tomorrow? Well, it's Holocaust Memorial Day. There's a convention in British politics that announcements and major uh, decisions aren't put out into the public on that day. Also, it's only a one-line whip in Parliament, so many MPs might not be there. So it could drag into Friday. Parliament is sitting on Friday. It could drag into next week. In the end, Nigel, what I'm trying to say is, uh, no, we don't know, we don't frankly, know. when this report is going to be released. Yeah. No, I, I think sometimes saying we don't know is a good, honest answer. Darren, is it your feeling that the longer this drags out, the better it is for Boris Johnson's survival within the Parliamentary Conservative Party? Yeah, I think in some ways what the Prime Minister needs to hold on to at this stage is time. He just needs time. And let's be frank about this. This is something that has been a bit of a winning formula for Boris Johnson. He just hopes something will turn up. Uh, that means that the, the wind will change, that suddenly uh, things start looking uh, better for him. And frankly, that has helped, even in this crisis, that the lulls of time in some ways have passed out, allowed him to call MPs to try and convince them mm -hmm. uh, that he should remain in office. Uh, also, clearly, uh, lots of MPs now saying we should be focusing on what's happening with Ukraine and Russia. But in the end, I think, Nigel, uh, the proof will be in the pudding. And what I mean by that is, it's the content of Sue Graves' report that ultimately will force MPs to make a decision about whether to back him or sack him. It will be at that moment when it's all there in black and white that they will ultimately have to decide what to do. And I think irrespective of whether this drags into next week or the weeks after, which I don't think it will, it's when that report gets released and when he stands in the Commons, that will be the moment that his future will be decided.